on guys hardy films here back with another video and today the background's kind of different you guys can see that i am making a video at my grandma's house because we're over here so i'm just gonna make a video on my computer and it is the 10 weirdest board games let's get into it all right guys if you can hear that noise my fan is hot in here so i have a fan going but this one is called uh what is it called let me scroll up a little bit or public assistance why bother working for a living and this is one of the dumbest games because look it says the game teaches that you don't need to work for a living instead just get on public assistance and live off of your welfare check never do that you know you want to get a job that you like and get a job that works money for your family if you're on welfare you can't do that so you know um let's get on to the next one the next one is called what shall it be or what, sh what shall i be the exciting game of career girls and it says like many of the games for girls from past decades this game has limited career options for girls if you want to be a doctor you'll need to be a boy the careers you'll find this game for girls include model ballet and dancers so this game is basically sexist it's only jobs for girls just back then a maid was a girl you know a model was a girl a ballet dancer was a girl you know uh so those are the jobs for girls if you wanted to be a doctor he needed to be a boy so this is kind of sexist so let's get on to the next one this one is called mall madness and um scroll down here it'll tell you if you want to teach your children bad spending habits by then this game that'll be sure to have thousands in credit card debts by their mid-twenties great game this one's called big funeral and um like funerals this is the game for you you can play elaborate funerals and throw parties and try to get more hearses and tombstones than the other players. Um, if you like funerals, I don't think anyone likes funerals. No one wants their family to die, so you know. Don't wake daddy. The game offers children a way to learn how to be sneaky and how to feel the reaction of their dad when they accidentally wake up the beast. I've actually seen this game and, um, eh, I would say this is kind of dumb, so you know. This is kind of a dumb game, right? What is that number? It's supposed to say the the year up there. 91, 99, 2. What the frick is that? This one is Gay Monopoly. What the heck? While this may seem like a good idea, it's actually an incredible offensive game. Why? Instead of hotels and motel and ho motels, it has bar and bathhouses. The properties are called Gay Locals, and the player take the player tokens are a Jeep, handcuffs, teddy bear, stiletto heel, blow dryer, or a leather cap. Guys, that was 1983, so I don't know what, the, but it's 2018, all right? So, gays are accepted, bisexuals are accepted, trans are accepted, everything is accepted in the 2018 world. 1983, they were probably not accepted, and um, you were probably hated if you were gay, but now it's okay, so you know, it's okay if you're gay, but this, you know, it's not okay game, you know? All right, next one. This one is the Suicide Bomber card game. Uh, I'm not gonna, um, it, the thing says, just the name is offensive enough. Um, yeah, this is offensive. Um, who created this game? When was this came out? 2003. Who even thought of this game? Like, it's not an okay game. Don't ever talk about this. You can get in serious trouble. This is just, who would think of this game? Life as a Black Man, the game. 1999. Um, this is just racist. Um, they don't have Life as a White Man, so why would they have a Life as a Black Man? That is not a cool, and the thing says... This is funny. Of this is the first of many racist games you're about to learn about. In this one, you will find out how hard it is for a young black man to succeed in life. This is just racist. Why would you create this? Like you're trying to get in trouble? I don't know. Okay, this is called Adultery, and it is came out in 1966. Let's see what the thing says. Want to cheat on your spouse? Here's a way to do the, to do it with the excuse of a board game, backing your behavior according to the rules. The object of the game is to spend a good time with two different players of the opposite sex. What that good time consists of is up to you. That is a weird game. Um, not gonna buy that ever. Uh, this came out in 19. This is just weird. What the heck? Who came up with these ideas? All right, another racist game. Blacks and Whites came out in 1970. This just sounds racist. Um, yes, more racism. The white person gets to start with the more money, can buy whatever property they want, and they are the status quo. The black person can only buy certain properties, but less has less money, and they are considered the minority. Um, everyone that whoever is racist out there, don't be racist. Get along with everyone that you can, 
And um, this is just a racist game. Never buy it. Don't even try to buy it. I'm not going to try to buy it. It's probably not even sold, selling anymore. Um, they probably are never going to make games like this again. So if you have one, enjoy it because they're probably never going to sell that again because it's just racist. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.